So this morning, I got the truck and trailer and we are headed to the museum. I'm going to be filling in rock into these areas where we're going to be putting back permeable pavers. I haven't filmed any of this area. I was working on it a lot last week, but I've been having some uh, personal family issues lately. And so I haven't been recording anything because I haven't been in the mood to talk to say the least. So feeling better now ready to keep making videos so jose and freddie are already there they're going to be working on different areas than i am today today's going to be a lot of skid steer work so eventually i'll have to come back and uh, get the dump truck but i need a lot of fabric to put down in this area so i'm going to go ahead and bring the truck and trailer i need some other tools as well so i will see you when i get to the museum all right Jose and Freddie are over there putting all the pavers back along that concrete wall that we poured in the last video. And uh, I just creased the skid steer up. We're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to that house over there that we're working at and show you guys what I'm dealing with over there. So all this rock here is what I took out of this area. It's a permeable paver um, back walkway patio thing. And there was standing water on top of it. And we did this about seven years ago, six, seven years ago. And so I dug all the rock out and realized there was, there was only about nine to 10 inches of rock in there. So we went ahead and dug all the rock out i dug it two feet deep and then we waterproofed the um foundation of this house so i still have to take out quite a little bit of dirt in here it's not two feet everywhere you can see the mound right here where we scraped off from the foundation so that we could get to it to waterproof it so i'm going to take this dirt go all the way over and dump it in a pile um that's in our parking lot over there she wants to keep the dirt and then once I have all the dirt to the right height that I need it to be, I will come in, put the fabric down, and then start hauling rock in here. So that is the plan, and that is what I'm going to be working on today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I might set up a time lapse for, uh, for this portion for sure. Alright, I'm gonna move some of this rock out of my way. Put some of this fabric.
Hopefully that'll make the squeaking go away. No guarantee. go down about four and a half inches yep we ain't done in here So I got this all dug out. I just had to go do a bunch of running around. But I got it all down to the right height, 20 inches. So we are going to start putting the black fabric down through here and then bringing in some rock. We don't have all the rock to fill it up today. Tomorrow I'm gonna get some dump truck loads of rock and bring it in here. But we're gonna get done what we can today. And then I have a connection piece that I'm going to connect to this black corrugated pipe, turn it into PVC, and run it out that way. So we'll see if we can get that done today as well. All of this ready? I'm not gonna put it in because it's too dirty. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it. Mm -hmm. Good morning. We are back at the museum. I have this concrete that's still in the back of the dump truck from the curb that we poured that I'm gonna unload, set on this pallet, and then I'm gonna go get a bunch of rock also need to grab a couple PVC six inch caps for some of the pipes that we're putting in today and get to rocking that whole area back. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and unload these bags. And then we'll get to rocking. Alrighty, it is time to back this old girl up on in through that gate. I got four yards of 57 rock limestone. I gotta dump it back there. I already got the skid steer behind it because it's gonna clog up that entire area. This truck does not like to back up whenever it's got some weight in it. It starts to do a little hop skippity like that. See what we can do. this side but I'm gonna have to pull up quite a bit to get to the other side up she goes Now I gotta find where the PVC pipes have been placed. Here they are. Alright, so I'm gonna going to attempt to custom make this six inch pipe into a perforated pipe with this drill bit here. Um, you can buy six inch perforated pipe, but not around here. No one, no one uh, has it in stock. There are a couple companies that supply it, but they don't have it in stock right now. So I don't really have time to wait around. So we're going to custom create this bad boy.
All right. It is time to attach this perforated, this custom perforated pipe. First thing I want to do is just lay down some fabric here. Lay down some fabric in this area. Alrighty, I just got back. I got more rock and I also got the right caps. I bought pressurized caps on accident and I needed non-pressurized caps. Two totally different sizes. So now that we got the right caps, I'm going to go ahead and glue the caps on these and then uh, start hauling in rock. Set that pipe over there and make sure it's all good. And start hauling the rock in.
Well, that is seven yards so far. And that's not even half of it. <laughs> so, I might even order a dump truck load. All right, so I got a delivery ordered that they're coming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, it's 2.30 right now, so I would have to do about four more dump truck trips to get this all filled up. And it would be a lot more expensive than if I just ordered it. So I went ahead and put in the order. And I will be back tomorrow morning to keep working on this and finish it up. So the video will continue then. Alrighty, folks. We are back at the museum. Um, the dump truck should be here any minute. I'm just shoveling up some of this leftover rock. Uh, Jose and Freddie are working on a couple um, gutter drainage pipes in the back. Got to dig it out so that we can put the pipes in later. Uh, whenever the rock shows up, I'll start filming stuff again. But right now, it's just a waiting game. Should be here any minute. He's supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. It is 9.17. He's running late. Well, it is 12.30. Dump truck still has not shown up yet. So I went and got my dump truck. Loaded it with four yards. And then I got a call from the company saying that they had mechanical issues this morning. And they have my 12 yards loaded up and on the way. Should be here any minute. So, waiting on the dump truck still, but it should be here soon, and at least I got rock already. I don't want to dump it, though. I want to wait till the guy gets here, because I'm going to have him dump it in the road, and I want to dump that dump truck in the driveway. So if I dump it in the driveway, I'm going to have to move it all before he gets here. And when he dumps it in the road, he might clog up the road a little bit, so I want to make sure that I scrape the road off first before I do anything else. Make sure the road's clear. Nothing has changed here. Jose and Freddy have installed both of the perforated pipe in this area with the pop up here going to the gutter that is going to be installed this week. That one runs out and ends right here. This one is going to be gutter installed here too. This one, 90s, 90s, and then runs out there. So, they're on lunch right now. They're eating in the trucks. So when they get off lunch, they're going to put these pavers back. Make it look like it never happened. Alright. Finally got the delivery. It's time to get to work. Alrighty, <clears throat> that's a good rough grade of the 57 rock. With the rock that I got in the dump truck, we n ended up not needing it. There was enough with the dump truck load. So I went ahead and dumped it over here. 
we're going to need it for whenever we do the driveway in a couple weeks. Those are the dirt piles that I took out of the area. Now I am loading all the stuff up. I got a small little pile still in the road that I'm going to bring over here and dump into that pile. A small pile of rock. And then we're getting out of here. So before I leave, I'll uh, get a video of everything that was done today. Alright, so I got the road fairly all cleaned up. Jose and Freddy are working on the last couple cuts back there. And we are almost out of here. The sun's shining again. Tomorrow I'm going to get a load of 89 rock and then uh, we're going to start screeting that area and laying the pavers back. So I'll go show you what the area looks like now full of the 57 rock and show you what Jose and Freddy have done today. So I got all the 57 rock in there compacted. It's at about the level we want it, so we only need about two inches of 89 rock, maybe three inches over here on this side. And as you can see, all the pavers are put back. This one already got rocked. And then making the cuts around. The new gutter is going to be installed here, coming down into there, and that runs out this way. He's making these cuts right here. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.